Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen continue to give us box office level matchups, not only in the regular season, but in the playoffs as well. This was the third time that Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen met in the playoffs. And unfortunately for Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills, Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs are now 3-0 and versus Josh Allen's Buffalo Bills in the playoffs. Josh Allen, the great talent of Josh Allen is 0-3 in the playoffs in his career versus the great Patrick Mahomes. What are our takeaways from this fact right here? I just want to ask the question. Will Josh Allen ever knock off Patrick Mahomes in a high-stakes, high-end, significant playoff game? Will he ever do it? I want you guys to comment, whether it be here on the show, in the comment section, or on social media. Hit me up. I would like to personally know if you all out there think that Josh Allen can ever get over not only the Patrick Mahomes hump, in the AFC, but the Super Bowl hump in general, because it'd be one thing if Josh Allen was just losing to Patrick Mahomes in the playoffs, but we just saw Josh Allen lose to Joe Burrow last year in, a, in blowout fashion in Buffalo. So if you're a Buffalo Bills fan, you have to be very, very uneasy about the situation of your current franchise. Do you believe your team is probably going to make the playoffs? The next couple of years, as long as Josh Allen is healthy and has a good supporting cast around him, sure, that's fine. But we're talking Super Bowls here, right? I mean, a quarterback as talented as Josh Allen, you would hope to one day win a Super Bowl. So I personally don't ever think, or I shouldn't say I don't ever think, it is now on the table that Josh Allen potentially never gets over the hump in the AFC, especially if Patrick Mahomes is in his way. And again, you could say, oh, what if Josh Allen avoids Patrick Mahomes? He avoided Patrick Mahomes last year and couldn't be, couldn't beat Joe Burrow. Now, he would have eventually had to beat Patrick Mahomes as well to get to a Super Bowl, and then the Philadelphia Eagles were really, really talented. But you get the point. People can say, oh, this is a early Peyton Manning versus Tom Brady situation where Josh Allen will eventually get Patrick Mahomes, first of all, Peyton Manning was a much more decorated quarterback compared to Josh Allen in the regular season. And I just don't think this is an apples to apples comparison because I just think that there is somewhat of a gap between not only Patrick Mahomes' accomplishments as far as what he has done in his NFL career, but also just the way he plays the quarterback position. I mean, Mahomes might very well be the most talented quarterback of all time when you put it all together. I know Josh Allen can run the football like crazy, has maybe the strongest arm in NFL history. I don't even say that lightly because Josh Allen is a freak of nature, but the way Mahomes plays the position, the decision-making, the IQ, the feel for the game, the ability to not make mistakes and just put a team on his back, it's better than Josh Allen. So, I have no choice but to believe that Patrick Mahomes is more talented than Josh Allen just based on those points right there and based on what I've seen. Could we be in a situation where Josh Allen is the Phillip Rivers of his era? Where, you know, in Phillip Rivers' era, you not only had Tom Brady in front of you, you had Peyton Manning, you had Aaron Rodgers, you had Drew Brees, and you had Ben Roethlisberger. And arguably Eli Manning. I'm sorry, people, but Eli Manning's postseason resume, it laps Philip Rivers' postseason resume. So where's Josh Allen going to fall in his era? A lot of people thought, oh, it's Patrick Mahomes and Josh Allen. Those are the two quarterbacks in the AFC that are going to dominate for years. I mean, have you seen C.J. Stroud? How talented he is? Are we going to ignore the fact that Joe Burrow has already been to a Super Bowl? carrying a terrible offensive line while in the process. I mean, we obviously know about Patrick Mahomes, you know. I may be missing a quarterback off the top of my head, but the point is, look, I don't think Josh Allen will be the fifth best quarterback of his era or the sixth or the seventh or the eighth, kind of like Phillip Rivers was, just because 
that era of quarterbacks, to me, was the best quarterback era of all time. Tom Brady, I mean, Peyton Manning, Aaron Rodgers, Drew Brees, Ben Roethlisberger, even a guy like Russell Wilson, who's going to get potential Hall of Fame votes, even though his career is kind of tailed off. That's the greatest quarterback era I've ever seen. As good as Mahomes, Burrow, Jalen Hurts even, you know, R, Josh Allen, if you want to throw him in there, Justin Herbert, those guys, at least up to this point, have not compared to the Brady's, the Mannings, at least Peyton and Rodgers of the world. They're just not quite on that level. But when you look at Phillip Rivers and Josh Allen, I mean, he very well could fall into that Phillip Rivers category because Phillip Rivers never once beat the top dog, Tom Brady, in his career. Now, Josh Allen has beaten Patrick Mahomes, the top dog in his era, but he's only done it in the regular season, has yet to beat him in the playoffs. And this is a year where Buffalo had home field advantage, had Josh Allen playing some great football, you had the defense playing well, this is a year where the Kansas City Chiefs were as vulnerable as ever, and you fall flat on your face at home. It was a very close game, and it just seems like Kansas City, as the game got closer and closer and time weighed down as the fourth quarter ticked and talked, Buffalo got more and more tighter, and Kansas City was more buttoned up, and they had the better quarterback, they had the better head coach, and they just have the heart of the champion, and they found a way to win. And Buffalo found a way to lose, despite how good Josh Allen played. And again, let me be very, very clear right here. Because I don't think I was very clear about this right out the gate when I made these proclamations. I don't consider Josh Allen to necessarily be a playoff choker. I don't think you can even necessarily say Josh Allen is overrated after this game. Now, depending on where you have Josh Allen rated, if you thought that he was arguably the best quarterback in the NFL, then yeah, you're overrating him. But at least based on how I have viewed Josh Allen, I don't look at Josh Allen any more different in this game. In fact, I think that he put together a valiant effort. I'm not saying Josh Allen can't ever beat Patrick Mahomes. I mean, we've seen it multiple times in these playoff games. At some point, it looks like he's even outplayed Patrick Mahomes, even in a losing effort. But my question is, at some point, is Josh Allen just going to put his foot down and say, I refuse to lose to this guy, Patrick Mahomes, that's sitting across from me and is threatening my Super Bowl opportunities. Will Josh Allen ever beat Patrick Mahomes? History will let us know this in the next five, six, seven years because this is what is going to define Josh Allen and Patrick Mahomes' career. These next five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine, ten years. Will Josh Allen ever get it done? I mean, at this point, If he's ever going to beat Patrick Mahomes, the Buffalo Bills will need to make infrastructure changes. I'm talking maybe firing Sean McDermott, bringing in an offensive coach to help out Josh Allen. And at some point, the Buffalo Bills will need to find a way to close out and win these close games. It seems like Buffalo finds a way and an excuse to lose these type of football games, whether it be Stephon Diggs crying and not showing up when it matters, Josh Allen's turnovers, the special teams choking, the defense choking. At some point, Buffalo needs to find a way to put up and shut up and win these close games and beat these teams because, listen, Kansas City's not going anywhere. Houston's not going anywhere. Miami potentially has a chance to be really, really special if they can get their quarterback situation figured out. You know, Aaron Rodgers potentially is coming your, to your division the next couple of years, and he's going to potentially make some noise. So the AFC as a whole is really, really competitive, and Buffalo, they may be just stuck on the outside looking in when you look back on things. Will Josh Allen ever knock off Patrick Mahomes? It remains to be seen, as I said.